Uh, hey everyone, uh, my name is Carly Hamilton and today I am doing a little uh, tour of my um, craft space. It's actually just my desk. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have re recently moved out of a dedicated room that I had that was just uh, my craft space. Um, and now I am like a little in a little corner in the um, lounge room area and uh, a lot of my craft stuff is in a cupboard uh, back in the room that I used to be in and so the space I've got around now is really limited. Um, so this is very much um, a work in progress that I am hoping um, that will evolve um, but I just wanted to show you what I've got now um, as my little space um, and yeah we'll see how it, it, like, how it evolves um, over time. Okay, so this is my little desk here. Um, it's actually quite a big desk, so I'm very happy with the size of the desk. You can see I've got two monitors. Um, and I have a, a few crafty things on here, but not much. Um, and I'll show you. It's in this little drawer set that I've got. Up the top here I've got like a whole heap of magazines and stuff. Um, I am very uh, out of date with my reading. Um, but I, I really love Renegade Collective. If you can get that magazine, it's actually an Australian magazine, but I believe it's distributed worldwide. And it's all about like um, entrepreneurs and stuff like that, and it's a really good read, so I highly recommend that one. But anyway, in here, I've taken out the top drawer and stuck it on top here to put things in. And then in this little space here, I've got all my washi. And... Um, I try and have like I tr have spaces for things and try and not buy um, any more than what can fit into the space and as you can see this space here is, is overflowing um, so I'm not buying any more washi tape for a while but um, I love my washi tape it's awesome put the washi tape in there and I just got that container from Daiso and also I have some like baking paper in here which I use for a lot of art craft projects. In this drawer I've got um, my my um, embroidery floss and like some sewing sort of things in here as well. Um, so yeah I use that um, a lot, well not a lot, but I use that quite often in scrapbooking so that's um, my embroidery floss and stuff. Um, in here is just a pile of things that I really need to scan um, into my computer. I'm, <laughs> I'm behind. And then the last drawer here is my paint drawer. And it is just full of mostly, um, well, all of it is really cheap branded paint. Um, I'd love to get some artist quality paint. Um, but at the moment, just don't have the funds. To justify it so I've been sticking with like the student grey paint but I've got um, lots of acrylics and then some like watercolors as well in tubes so that's on my desk um, I also have um, oh there's my my webcam and also my microphone that I use to record a lot of my videos and my um, little gorilla pod which I use to attach to my, um, this is the Gorilla Pod here. This guy, I use him to attach to my webcam and then I can face him down. And that's how I record a lot of my like process videos and stuff. Under here is my, um, like my computer and all the cables. And I've stuck my little embellishment center there. Um, and that's what I use to do my scrapbooking. So at the moment it is... Um, for my month of me project set up for that um, and what I do is I, I pull it out and just like stick it bang on my desk there and um, that uh, that allows me to easily access all the um, embellishments and stuff I need for scrapbooking so apart from that if I swivel my, my chair now um, right to the side here I have a little book case and this is um, a bookcase I got from Ikea. It was really cheap. Uh, I think it was $50 Australian. So 
I imagine if you're in America, it is like dirt cheap because IKEA is a bit more expensive here. Um, but it's a really nice little shelf system. And I just have a whole heap of stuff that's really easy um, to access. And a lot of this stuff is things that I should use on my pages more but often don't. But let me see. Okay, Up the top here, I've got my gesso. Um, it's just a giant tub of some really cheap gesso, but it does the job. Um, and behind here, I've got all my paintbrushes um, and a jar full of spare pencils and things. This is just uh, miscellaneous stuff that I need to sort through. And I also have a spare box here that I haven't stuck anything yet, yet, but I've got it there so that the cats don't jump on the top of this bookcase and knock it over. My greatest fear. Um, on this next shelf, I've got some little figurines that I got from Japan, some Kokeshi dolls. Um, this was because I'm a Taurus, so that was for my year of birth. It's like a little Hello Kitty in a cow suit. And then this little geisha was um, on a little um, like dangly charm thing that broke. So I've just got it in here. I've got my Mod Podge, um, my Dimensional Magic, and um, my Impasto Medio, uh, Medium, which is just um, like embossing paste sort of thing. Um, I've got a couple of punches. I've just selected a couple from my collection and stuck them up here. Um, in the hopes that I will use punches more often. I've got my um, ink, a whole heap of ink here. Um, and then I've got some pens. And I've just turned a normal pen holder on its side here so that I can lay all my pens down horizontal um, and that way that the ink doesn't run down to one end. Uh, and that's another little guy from Japan that I've got. Um, in my pens, I don't know if it's going to focus, I've got a whole heap of different ones here. I've got like this one, I think it's a chalk writer, um, and some like Sharpies, some, I can't even say that, precision pen. Um, I got these free ones from a cherry on top, which is kind of cool. And I think I've got like a vellum, yeah, a vellum writer. Oops, let me pay attention to what I'm doing. I've got like a vellum writer. Um, some Sharpies. I think this one's like a paint pen. Uh, it's not going to focus. There we go. Liquid silver. No, it's not focusing very well, but I think it's like a paint pen. But yeah, I've got a couple of things in there. That was left there, not by me. Okay, so next on this shelf here, I've got all my. Um, oh brain fart, um, wood veneer and also some sequins, so some sequins and some wood veneer. I just got these little things from my local, um, uh, oh my gosh, I can't think, uh, just a local craft store that we've got here in Australia, but it would be like your Hobby Lobby in America. And then these are little jars from um, the Daiso and I've just stuck in some more wood veneer. Um, and I've got some like letter ones in here and then some like chipboard letters as well that are from a freckle form kit and I've got a spare one that I'm filled yet. Um, here's all my like sprays. So my Dilutions and Heidi Swap and uh, Mr. Huey's and things like that. And I've also got some Kindy Glitz, um, which is an Australian bland, brand. I can't think of what like the major um, American thing is called right now, but anyway. There's them. Down on the next shelf, I've got, oh, that's just a, a calculator that I had in high school. Um, here's, on this shelf, I've got like a little foam mat that I use a lot for my paper piercing. Um, I believe its intended purpose was to provide like a good surface for stamping as well. I've got a whole heap of like dots, because I really love um, using dots. This is my like all purpose little container here. I love him. Pull him out. Come over to the desk. And I've just got a lot of whole heap of things in here. I've got my like um, post-it notes. So this I use for like, you know, keeping a track of things as well. Um, got some more post-its. And I've got some like foam, um, like puff foam adhesive stuff. I have some more dots that are just about to run out. Um, my double-sided tape. 
I've got some Lisa Swarovski um, flatback gems that I use in scrapbooking. I've got things like my stapler, um, sticky tape. Well, here's a Sharpie pen that I can go put in my other Sharpie area. Like a little foam sponge, it's just like a cheap makeup sponge. Um, sharpener, got an, like a, an eraser, um, <laughs> staple remover. So like it's like my general um, stationary sort of cupboard. That's my belly there because I'm pregnant. <laughs> stationary cupboard slash yeah, um, like all my little miscellaneous um, adhesives and things that I use in scrapbooking. So I usually um, pull pull this out when I need. Um, something from it. There we go. So that's that there. And I have some cats visiting me, going, what on earth is she doing? And I've just completely forgotten which orientation I had this. There we go. And lastly, I've got like a little set of drawers from the Daiso that the cat's kindly in front of, but I don't have actually anything in it at the moment. Um, and I've also got like a little thing here of... Um, they're like the doodle bug. I'm tapping this trying to get it to focus. I'm tapping the wrong thing. Here we go. It's um, letter, little letter um, tiles from a really old doodle bug line. Um, and I've just got them sitting there because I didn't have a place to put them. I'm sitting back down on my chair. And next, I have this, also have this cupboard. Um, and inside the cupboard, I've just got a couple of things. I've got my Epson Picture Mate um, printer for printing pictures. Um, I also have a couple of books here. This is my Month of Me album um, that I'm working on. This is next is going to be my next project. This little encyclopedia is going to be an art journal, and I'm also going to use like probably some of the pages out of this guy for my art journal here. I've got all my like letter stickers and stuff um, in this little thing that I like to pull out. And I also have some like big 12 by 12 sticker chipboard sheet things in here as well. Um, this little guy, he's actually um, this little tub's like a remote holder, I believe. Um, and I got it from the Daiso. And it just holds all my tools. So when I'm scrapping, I just get out this little tool thing. Um, so I've got lots of scissors and rollers, um, my knife, craft knife, my tweezers, little pokey tools, glue, things like that. Um, and here I have another little box that has like a lot of my date stamps, like ink pads that I use for my date stamps and like little roller, roller stamps. And then lastly down there I've just got my, um, my cables for my photo printer and also my like trimmer. So there's a bit of a space here that I can put some other stuff. So that's at, that's at the moment. Um, that's my, sorry about moving lots, but this is my craft space at the moment. Um, I have yet to actually really use it, um, utilize it to see how like well it goes, but I am planning on doing that very soon. So I will keep you updated. I hope you've um, enjoyed this little tour of um, a craft space with not much space. Um, uh, if you like this video, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I'd love to hear what you do in your craft space. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.